Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're going to be talking about the fastest way to get Izanagi's Burden in Destiny 2. Real quick guys, those of you that don't know, I'm doing a giveaway and thanks to reaching 500 subscribers on this channel. I'm giving away a $50 gift card, whether it be Amazon, PSN, Xbox, or Steam. All you have to do for a chance to win is like the video, be a subscriber, and comment down below when you're done. Alright, now let's get to the guide. Alright guys, so Izanagi's Burden is an exotic sniper rifle, and essentially it lets you hold down the reload button to consume 4 rounds and load a more powerful round. Now the more powerful round I think equals out to about the base power of 5 rounds. So it's an essential weapon for PvE especially. Before we get started on the quest line for Izanagi's Burden, make sure you have access to the Forge activities in EDZ. You won't be able to finish the quest without these. So to start the quest, it's actually changed over time. All you have to do now is head to the tower and pick up the mysterious box from Ada. Now that we have the mysterious box, you're going to see that you need four separate keys to open the box. Now each of these keys you're going to receive from each of the four forge activities. And if you aren't aware, the forge activities are on a daily rotation. So at the minimum it will take you four days to get each one. Alright, so the first key we're going to talk about is the fish hook lock key. This one you can get from the Volunteer Forge. So if that one is on rotation, jump in. And in between the first and the second round, right after the first round is over, you're going to head over to this cliff and you're going to see a little shield drone spawn out by those trees. Kill the shield drone, then quickly turn to your right, you're going to see another one appear by the ceiling inside the cave. Kill that one as well. And then you're going to get a buff called Maximum Temper. Now all you have to do is complete the entire activity And at the end, this chest is going to spawn over here. Open the chest, and you'll receive the key. And on a side note, I want to say it doesn't have to be you that destroys the shield drones. Anyone in the activity can destroy them, and you will all still get the maximum temper buff. Alright, so the next one is going to be the butterfly lock key. This one you can get from the Izanami Forge. So when the Izanami Forge is on rotation, hop in, and again, be ready after the first round ends before the second one starts. You're going to want to go to this far floating island, shoot the first shield drone, then on the opposite side on the other floating island, next to the corner pillar, you're going to see another shield drone appear. Kill that one as well, just like the last forge, and you're going to see maximum temper buff appear again. Now, all you have to do again, complete the entire activity. Loot the chest, and you'll get your key. Now, you're probably seeing sort of a pattern emerge here. So, the next one is the handlock key. And this one you get from the Gofanon Forge. So when that one is on rotation, once again, when the first round is over, go to the location of these two shield drones. Kill one, kill the other, get the maximum temper buff. Now complete the entire activity, loot the chest, and you'll get your key. Now, the last key is going to be the Black Armory Lock key. This one you can get from the Bergusha Forge. So, when that one is on rotation, hop in again. After the first round, before the second one starts, defeat these two shield drones. Get the maximum temper buff. Loot the chest at the end and you have your final key. Now, you do have to go to your quest tab and actually insert all these keys to unlock the box. So after all four keys are inserted into the box, you'll receive a mysterious decryption device 
and a mysterious data pad. You're going to have to take these items back to Ada, and then you'll get the next section of the quest. Alright, so the next step is going to be to complete a rare black armory bounty. Now, these bounties are randomly added to your inventory upon completion of a regular daily or weekly black armory bounty. And I will tell you, it does take a while to get one to actually appear, but when it does, knock out the bounty and you'll receive an obsidian crystal and you could start the next section of the quest. Alright, so the next step is to head to the Dreaming City and complete the Shattered Throne Dungeon. Now, I highly recommend looking up a guide beforehand, as there are some tricky mechanics, and also, I highly recommend getting a fire team together as well. Now, for the next section, you're going to have to complete a special version of the Pure Meridian Strike. It'll have a couple modifiers active. One increases the damage from solar weapons, and the second one increases the drop rate of heavy ammo. Now, don't try to go through the strike cycle and find the Pure Meridian, you're going to have to actually go to Io and start the special quest through there. Now, the next and final step is somewhat anticlimactic. You're going to have to kill Civix, but he is fairly easy to defeat. So head to EDZ, launch the mission from the quest marker, and defeat him. Now that that's over with, head back to Ada and pick up your Izanagi's Burden. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support so far. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time, and as always, good luck and have fun.